Hi boys and girls, how are all of you doing? Welcome. So my goal is every week to post a weekend family art challenge for you guys to try and work on with your parents. And this is video one. It's my first time using Zoom in this way. So let's hope it goes well. So what I wanna do is share with you an image of the artwork that we're gonna try and create. So hold on a second. So what you're looking at over here is the kind of art that we're going to try to create. This is the artist. His name is Junior Fritz Jaquette. And he basically creates these masks. They kind of look like grumpy faces, right? Well, he creates these masks out of an interesting material that I know all of us have lying around. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a video and learn a little bit about how the artist creates these masks. And this is your weekend family challenge. Okay, so now we're gonna see a video. Share screen. Today we will be making Junior Fritz Jacquet toilet paper roll faces. We will start with an empty toilet paper roll. I would get more than just one to start with because you might mess up or break it on your first try. You will then get your toilet paper roll wet. Do not hold it in there for more than 10 seconds, maybe five at the most. If you do, it will break and rip. You're then going to pinch your toilet paper roll on and form it into the face structure you want to. You do not have to make it look realistic. This is an abstract piece of artwork and it might be hard to form at first, but just try your best. Once you've gotten the facial structure that you want, hold it in place for a couple seconds so it stays. Then set it to the side and let your toilet paper roll dry. These are a couple of different ones that I made. If you have the option to paint them, you may. It just makes it look a little bit more like a face than just the toilet paper roll by itself. You can also use crayon, um, you can use marker, you can use pencil to color it. It does not have to be paint. If you do not have paint, don't feel like you need to use that. Okay, so what do you think? Did you realize that the artwork is being created by using toilet paper rolls? I bet you have a lot of these lying around. So the first thing you need to do is to start collecting these empty toilet paper rolls. And now I'm gonna demonstrate how I make them. Actually, I've made a few. This is one of the ones that I made. I actually made a few that I had to get rid of because they didn't work out so well. Here's another one that I worked on. Whoop, can I see it? Yeah. And here's the last one I created. This one I haven't painted yet. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the camera. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration, first time ever, and show you how I create these. Okay, here we go, bear with me. Okay, so now you guys are looking at my computer desk. And I really was trying to find some type of artwork that I thought would be fun for us to create. And when I saw this idea about toilet paper rolls, I just thought, oh, we really have to do these. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these around because I think I'm getting the reverse image on my camera. Okay, so here is the first step. Now, if you were noticing in the video, they mentioned one word, abstract. 
these types of masks are considered abstract. So you may recall that in art, we've talked about two main types of art, two ways to categorize your group art, either realistic or abstract. So realistic art is kind of like if you're looking at an image that looks just like if it was taken with a photograph, it looks real, you can identify everything. Abstract is more when an artist creates something using mood and feeling, and you kind of have to interpret what it looks like. Okay, so clearly these masks, you kind of have to close one eye, sort of use your imagination to realize where the eyes are, where the nose might be, where the mouth is, okay? And abstract is kind of, abstract art is kind of fun because you get to use your imagination and different people might see it different ways. Like maybe if I turn this around, this might look like the mouth and the nose and the eyes right here. Okay, so let's get started. So obviously the first thing you need is a couple of rolls of toilet paper. I'm lucky that Mrs. Schwartz had some extra that she was collecting and she passed them on to me. We're just gonna start with one. I also have a container of water. So what I found is that if I wet the paper just a little bit, it's easier for me to kind of um, manipulate it and control it and shape it the way I want. I tried at first to make some of these masks just by pinching and squeezing the paper sort of like origami, but it didn't work out so well. So watch how quickly. I'm just going to insert it here and I'm going to have the paper go around once, the roll of paper, and I'm going to shake off the extra water and that's it. I just wet it for like a few seconds, like three to five seconds max. If you do it too long, then you're, you're gonna watch that your paper is just going to unravel and disintegrate. The second thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, for me, I'm gonna flatten it a little bit, and then I'm going to try and kind of pinch and squeeze what I think a face might look like. So you see what I'm doing with my index fingers here? I kind of feel like my eyes are gonna be here. I kind of feel like this part might be my nose, and this could be my mouth. And then what I think I wanna do is I'm going to kind of flip it over, and maybe play around with it. All of them are different, which is the cool thing. I'm also gonna, this part, you see how it kind of broke? I think I'm gonna flip this back. And I'm gonna insert my finger underneath to kind of make the eyes kind of pop out a little bit. Now, you might become a little impatient when you're working with this wet piece of paper, but go ahead and try it out and see what happens. So here's my nose. And mind you, I'm working upside down when I'm doing this, so it's a little bit more challenging. I think I'm gonna turn this, oh, turn this part up to kind of form the shape of the mouth. And I'm kind of gonna leave it like this. There's my grumpy face. Now, it's not ready to be painted. I have to make sure it dries completely because the paper is wet and soft and super, super fragile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it out maybe in my backyard or next to a sunny window and wait a few hours until it's dry. So now let me show you my dry sample. Oh, this one looks kind of funny. So you can color it in with markers or crayons or if you happen to have some paint, like I have some paint available, you can also use that. So you see my little art palette here. Oh, it's kind of stuck. I'm just going to add a little bit of paint. And then I'm going to get my brush. It's just a brush I happen to have lying around in my garage because I haven't been getting many supplies. And I'm literally just gonna brush on a little bit of color. I'm holding it by one part and I'm adding color with my other hand. And then I'm just gonna kind of set it to dry. Oops, I'm looking at my video and I'm realizing that I need to add a little bit of yellow here in the corners and the sides, making sure I get all those little spaces. So once that's done, I set it to dry. And I think it might even be fun to try and make like a totem pole with all of these faces. See? Okay, so now let me switch screens again. 
and here we are. So you guys have until next Saturday to try and create your own toilet paper roll mask. And what I would love for you to do is to post it um, through Microsoft Teams on upload artwork or send me a picture through Class Dojo under messages. All right? Let's get to it. I hope you have fun creating these very interesting masks. So start saving your toilet paper rolls now. Bye-bye.